Okay, so first off, I'm smoking again. I decided, fuck it, let's just make that a thing for every video. Because it's sort of ironic that, you know, I'm smoking <laughs> videos about working out, getting healthy. Fuck hell. Uh, I'm just doing it to look good. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting so many wrinkles. Anyway, uh, today's video is going to be, uh, I should say that I haven't actually started working out yet, just uh, still a couple of days off. But I thought I would sort of do a little pre preliminary video on, on actual six packs and apps and stuff like that. So, let's start off with uh, the fact that there's sort of three different kind of, of six packs. There's the four pack, the six pack, and the eight pack. Which one you have? It's primarily down to genetics. Not a whole lot of uh, not a whole lot of things you can do about that. So if you have a six pack, but you want an eight pack, well, that just sucks for you. Um, personally, I don't like the look of uh, the eight pack. I think it looks like really extreme. But um, fuck it. Um, so there's that. So so what you need to um, you know, to have a six pack to, to actually see your app muscles. Um, it comes down to primarily three things. Um, having app muscles, having low body fat, and having a low skin fold measurement on your stomach. On your abs, basically. And some people will disagree with me when I say app muscles, but I want to get it out of the way so people don't get confused. Because when you see anorexic people, for instance, you, they don't walk around with a six pack. It's not just about losing weight um, and, and getting to super low body fat. Um, don't starve yourself. You know, all the fucking starving children in Africa, they don't run around with six packs either. You want, you want low body fat, but still, you know, you do actually want ab muscles. Um, now, 99.9% .9 of, of, of us all already have those. Um, if you want like really big ones, like bodybuilder type ones, uh, you do need to, to focus a lot more on working them out so they can get bigger. But for the majority of others that, that just sort of want a, a good looking six pack, um, don't worry too much about working out your abs. Work them out, sure, um, it's always good. Plus, uh, your core is really important for a lot of other workouts, but don't focus on them. But obviously, just starving yourself will not get you a six pack. So I just wanted to, to clear that out, that you do actually need the muscles. Now, the next is low body fat and a low skin fold. Now, a lot of people will just say you just need low body fat. Generally, for most people, it's around 10%-ish, and you can start seeing your abs. Um, but, and that is true. But what a lot of people um, forget now because they are sort of interconnected is that you actually need low skin fold measurements on your stomach. Now I will go into to measuring um, body fat and all that good stuff in another video, but for now um, just try to keep up. Now you do need um, a low skin fold measurement. For instance, uh, we all store fat differently. Some people sort of store it evenly all over their bodies. Other people get fat fingers, for instance. Some people get fat in their faces and other people get fat on their stomachs. I store the majority of fat on my stomach. I actually always have a fairly low body fat percentage. Just naturally, I'm around 13-14%, which is fairly low. If I hit 10% body fat, I still can't see my abs. In fact, I still sort of have a little bit of a wobbly on my stomach. And why is that? That's because no matter what I fucking do, my fingers stay skinny. I very, I, without massively overeating to an extreme degree, I don't gain weight in my face either. My legs are fairly thin too. I just store the majority of my fat on my stomach. Other people will store it different places. You see some people that when they eat a lot, their arms start getting bigger. Mine don't really change. So we all store fat differently. So that's why just getting to a low body fat percentage might not be enough. Now it's enough for a lot of people, might even be the majority of people, but for the unlucky ones like me, uh, that's not enough. Uh, as I said, I can get to very low body fat uh, percentages, still can't see my abs. Last time I hit just about 8%. 
give or take maybe 1%. Um, let's leave that down to, to wrong measurements or whatever. Um, and I, you know, if I tensed up, I could start lightly seeing definition, but I definitely still had, you know, not a natural six pack. So, what's important there to, to sort of measure is how low is the skin, uh, uh, the, the, the skin measurement um, when you're measuring your body fat. How, how small is that on your stomach? Um, and it needs to be fairly small to see your abs. I can't give you an exact number since obviously I didn't hit it last time. But I will update with that, I suppose, in a later video. But that's basically the point where you see your abs. Um, so you need ab muscles, like don't fucking starve yourself, that's not gonna help. Uh, you need low body fat and a low skin fat measurement, uh, skin measurement, whatever, uh, on, your, um, on your stomach. That's what you need to see your abs. How do you get abs? You don't get them by just doing crunches and, and sit-ups and stuff like that. As I said, you do need to actually have the ab muscles, but most people do. Um, what you do need is cardio. Like, fuck. You need to lose body fat. Not lose weight, lose body fat. Again, just starving yourself is not gonna do anything. Um, you need to, to lose body fat and you do that by cardio and to help keep the muscles weight training. But I'll go into my exact exercise in another video. But that's, that's the basic point. You need to, to shred body fat. And people that want a six pack and then go to the gym and like just typically lift weights or do fog loads of crunches and sit ups, it's not gonna help you. Um, in fact, if you've been doing that for a while, chances are you more than enough have sort of visible abs, they're just covered by fat. And how do you get rid of fat? Well, with cardiovascular uh, exercise, in short, cardio. What is cardio? That's stuff like running, um, kettlebell exercises like I do, um, HIT, uh, high intensity interval training, swimming, bicycling, stuff that pumps your heart rate up. You should preferably hit just around um, 90%, 80% of your maximum heart rate. Um, and I'll go into the details of that later, I suppose. Uh, again, sort of in my exact exercises, my exact routines uh, that, I'm, that I'll be doing, what works and what doesn't. But that's, that's what you need. Shred fat by doing cardio. Don't lift weights, don't do crunches. <laughs> Definitely don't think you're gonna get anything by doing crunches. You need to lose body fat. Cardio. So you get to a low body fat percentage, so you get to a low skin fold measurement. Skin fold, there we go, that's what I've been looking for. A uh, skin fold measurement. So you can see your abs. And you know, I just want to clear that up because even from some from some friends that I know that work out, um, they they still go when I'm saying like, hey, yeah, so so um, I'm aiming for, for six packs again this summer. And they'll be like, oh, okay, so you're doing like a lot of crunches and stuff? No. Not really. <laughs> uh, that's the completely wrong way to go about it. So I wanted to, to sort of get that out of the way. And, and then I'll, I'll deal with, with all the actual issues of now that we know this, how do we do it efficiently and in a good, solid way? Which is going to be fuck loads of cardio. <clears throat> solid diet, not necessarily eating a lot less, but a solid diet with some weightlifting to keep the muscles, all that good stuff, lots of water, lots of sleep, all these sort of different things, frog loads of determination and motivation. So, and that's, that's all other videos that I'll be doing, but I wanted to clear this out so we have a good starting point um, of what it is we're trying to to achieve when you want the goddamn six pack. Next video is most likely going to be on how to measure your body fat, how to f like how uh, that works, why sometimes it doesn't work, why you still need a, a measuring tape in some cases, all those different things. 
But um, that's it for, uh, for this video, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.